Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here, and today we are going to be taking a look at Revamp by Nicholas Lawrence. Hello everyone and welcome to another magic review where my job is to show you guys some of the latest and greatest pieces of magic to hit the market. Let you know about my thoughts and whether or not I think it's something that you should check out. Before we dive into the contents of this video though, just a couple of announcements. Number one, if you have not already done so, please make sure to go ahead and click the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell. That way you guys will know anytime I upload a new video. Also, this magic product review is sponsored by Penguin Magic. If you guys are looking for the latest and greatest magic to add to your act, please be sure to visit penguinmagic.com. And while you're there, you're more than welcome to check out my live act as well. Anyway, thank you so much Penguin Magic for sending this to me. This is something that I've been really excited for. I have fallen in love with it ever since that I saw Nicholas Lawrence first perform it. I'm sure you guys have seen this performed. This can be done live. It could be done in like a close-up situation. You can do it, you know, like in a like in a strolling environment kind of situation. And this also looks amazing on social media. Before I dive into the review, though, let's go ahead and have a look at the trailer. This has easily become my favorite trick to carry on me at all times. I never leave the house without it. You take a bill out of your wallet and you proceed to tear a corner off. With nothing else in your hands besides the two pieces, you fuse them back together in the most visual way possible. You're a gangster, dude. Was that pretty cool? <laughs> the best part, you end completely clean. The bill you tear is the bill they examine. The gimmick is self-contained. It can live in your wallet, and that allows you to perform anytime, anywhere. You're gonna love this. The second reason, the method. It's just as incredible as the effect itself. I'm Nicholas Warren, and this is Revamp. All right, so the actual gimmick that I used is the one that they supply you with, and it's not made out of real money. It's made out of like fun money or film money or whatever you want to call it, right? Um, the gimmick itself, um, the idea is, is you're going to build this yourself using a real bill. So you can use a $1 bill, a five, 10, 20, even a hundred dollar bill. If you really want to, in order to build the gimmick, you are going to destroy the bill though. That's probably important to note. So if you want to make this out of a hundred dollar bill, you are going to destroy the bill, but you only have to destroy a bill one time to make the gimmick. You're going to use the same gimmick over and over and over again when you do the when you perform the trick. So the gimmick itself just lives inside your wallet and uh, it's ready to go whenever you want to perform. Now, technically speaking, uh, the bill can be borrowed and the bill can be signed. Now, you're gonna have to switch into the gimmicked bill, but once you have the gimmicked bill, uh, once this is in play, um, it's in play for the rest of the routine and you can simply steal off the gimmick and you can hand that bill out So what you can do is you can take the gimmick have them sign it tear off the corner Throw it back on and then you can immediately hand them the bill back with their signature on it And they can see their signature from the start to the finish which makes this really cool um, like I said, you're gonna want to make this out of real money even Using this kind of fake bill, it doesn't look terrible. Like if you wanted to just perform it on camera, um, from a distance, it doesn't look like a, a fake bill. So if you like wanted to perform this in sort of a close-up situation, but maybe people are sitting a little bit farther away, maybe if you're in like a restaurant or something, you can use the gimmick that they supply you with. But I really recommend that you do take the time to do the arts and crafts and build the gimmick yourself. I just wanted to show you guys using. Uh, 
uh, the bill that they provided so you can see you know it does look it does look pretty legit um, you know for what it is for what it's supposed to be so what do you get in this set you get the gimmick again that's made out of play money uh, you get a tutorial that is about an hour long, and it's essentially Nicholas Lawrence deep diving into the trick. He talks to you guys a little bit about the history of the trick. He shows you guys how to set up the gimmick. He shows you how to build everything so you can build this out of your own money. And then he goes on to teach a few different methods to actually do the change. The method that I showed you guys just now is the primary method that's taught, but there are some alternative methods that you can learn as well. He also teaches you how to ditch the bill, how to clean it up. He teaches you how to do it with a borrowed bill. So you can do like an under the wallet switch or something like that. You know, he goes into some, some creative ideas for you guys to kind of get you started. The idea is to go out into the world and to perform something organic, something that just lives in your wallet. The easiest way to present this is you reach into your wallet, you pull out a stack of bills, you then take the one bill, tear the corner off, throw it back on, hand it out so they can examine it, you grab your bill back, you throw it in your wallet, and you're ready to, to go ahead and start performing this again. The setup itself, once you've built the gimmick, takes maybe 10 seconds or so to insert the gimmick back into your wallet and have it be ready to use for the next set. So this is a perfect walk around trick. You do the, uh, you do the routine, you show that the bill has healed itself, it's instant reset if you don't clean it up. If you do clean it up because you want the bill examined, after you're done with your set, you can just walk away from the table, look away real quick. It looks like you're just organizing your bills. You insert the gimmick back into your wallet and you're ready to go again. So this is a really cool piece of magic. As you guys saw, it is super visual. It's actually pretty easy to perform too. There's a little knack to it to get the throw moment to look clean. But honestly, I haven't performed it that much. I've only played with this maybe 20, 30 minutes or so um, before I was able to actually do it. So it's really not that difficult. And like I said, Nicholas Lawrence, he's an excellent teacher anyway, and he offers some really good advice and different ways that you guys can uh, perform this. So maybe the throw method doesn't work for you. So maybe you do the kick out method that he teaches, or maybe one of the other t uh, methods that he teaches, right? He gives you a lot of ideas to get started. And the only limit with this is your imagination. You can get creative with it. There's a bunch of different things that you can do with it. Um, if you wanted to, you don't even have to perform this with money. Maybe you can perform this with like a, a receipt or I don't know, like a newspaper clipping or something. You can get really creative with it and um, just have fun. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this review and uh, let me know what you think. Do you own Revamp by Nicholas Lawrence? If so, drop a comment below and let others know what you thought about it and let me know what you think the next trick should be that I show all of you. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, make sure to click the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell. That way you'll know every time I upload a new video. If you'd like to check out some more magic, visit us at obrienmagic.com and be sure to check out our online magic shop where you will find the latest and greatest magic books, downloads, and accessories.